Clinton's taking the stage after three nights of Democratic stars vouching for her readiness for the White House, for her preparedness to be commander in chief. This is really her opportunity, though, to make her case directly to the American people. And that's really important. You can have as many people as you want telling your story, but it's, it's never more powerful than when you're doing it yourself. So Clinton needs to both show that she is prepared, that she has the experience to take over a country that is quite anxious about economic and, and national security interests, but she also really needs to address these honesty and trustworthy questions that have dogged her throughout this campaign. We don't expect her to do that directly. It's not as though she's going to be talking about her private email use and private server, but she needs to somehow try to get across to Americans that she understands there are questions about her and that she is willing to try to address them. I think that she's going to definitely draw a contrast with Donald Trump. I think that you will hear her, though, be slightly less uh, biting and maybe sarcastic than she has been in previous appearances, in part just because of the stage that she's on. This is meant to be about her. It, it's an opportunity to, again, contrast her policy positions and her temperament with Donald Trump. But you want to look presidential. You want to try to rise above some of the harsh politics that we've seen. and. You know, one of her biggest challenges will be the fact that she is following this litany of huge Democratic stars, President Obama, former President Bill Clinton, Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, all of these people who really can command an audience, who are really just very adept at doing these big arena speeches. And Clinton has acknowledged that that's not her strength. That's not where she shines. And so, you know, how she actually performs as a politician may be as important as the message that she's sending. There's been a lot of emotion in the convention hall over the last couple of days. You really see delegates embracing the idea of making history, having the, this first woman nominated actually become the first woman president. And, and you, you talk to Democrats and they feel like this is uh, an achievement that would really be incredible for a party that made history eight years ago. And so Clinton herself will likely touch on this. She has embraced this more than she has in her last presidential campaign. But again, she wants to make this more than voting for the first woman. She wants to make this voting for someone who she and Democrats believe is the most qualified person to ever run.